This is Gene Key, KDD News from newschannel10.com. The investigation continues into what sparked a fire that prompted an evacuation of an Amarillo hotel. Around 2 Thursday afternoon, the fire broke out at the Luxury Inn Hotel on Interstate 40 near Nelson Street. Investigators say the fire started in one of the rooms, then spread to other parts of the building. Around a dozen people were inside the building at the time and had to be evacuated. There were no injuries reported in the fire. From Paladero Canyon, a flood that killed four people in Paladero Canyon is memorialized. The National Weather Service and the Texas Parks and Wildlife unveiled a high water mark sign. It's at water crossing number one, where more than 10 inches of rain caused the river to rise 24 feet above normal back on May 27, 1978. Two Frisco, Texas coaches are being hailed as heroes for saving the life of a 12-year-old girl who collapsed at her school. Doctors still don't know why Kaylee Shea's heart stopped as she walked down the hallway to the girls' locker room at Mayhas Middle School. The life-saving effort was caught on video by a school surveillance camera. It showed two alert coaches, Brent Reese and Christine Goodian, springing into action using a defibrillator. An air ambulance took the 7th grader to Children's Medical Center, Dallas, where doctors surgically installed a pacemaker. Reese Goodian and the students who called for help will be honored at the school next week. Kaylee is now home from the hospital and doing well. But doctors say they still aren't sure what caused her heart to stop. This is Gene Key, KDD News.